Over the weekend, brand new images and video for Sims 5 was leaked. Over on Twitter, the Sims 5 world tweeted out these images. They say, sent to my DMs. And we're going to look at these pictures. This is the very first image. And as you can see, these are the apartments that we have already seen from behind the Sims Summit. But instead, we get to see a bird's eye view of all of the buildings and the world. As you can tell, there are cars decorating the streets. There's tons of trees and greenery. We get to see the architect of all of the buildings. It looks really good, but as I have said in past videos, I want to emphasize that all of this is still being worked on. This is more than likely not what is going to be the final product. This is very, very early in development right now, so everything we see can and probably will change. So keep that in mind as we go through all the images and videos. This is the next image. We get to see more of a bird's eye view of what is happening here. As you can see, it is very unfinished. We just get the center of this plaza, it looks like. This is the next image here, and we get to see a little bit more of what the city is looking like. We do get to see some assets here that are from Sims 4 that are being reused for Sims 5, and that's not uncommon. These are more than likely just placeholders until something new is developed. But here we do get to see a closer look at the city, and honestly, I am loving it. It looks so good. I am still personally very shocked that they are even including apartments in the base game and I love it so much. Here is another view that we have. It's honestly pretty high quality to me, especially being so early in development. There's already been a lot of work put into this game. Now this image should look quite familiar to you if you've been keeping track of the leaks. This is the apartment that we have already seen from behind the Sims Summit. We get to see a lot of items in here. They all look pretty familiar. According to leaks from the playtest, they said that there were several apartments that were already pre-decorated and pre-done that you could go inside of and look around, as well as some blank apartments to decorate. This must be one of the apartments that is already pre-decorated because I see a lot of familiar looking things here. However, this next set of images is what has gotten my attention the most. This is our first look at what The Sims for Sims 5 is actually going to look like. So this is a very, very, very early look at what it's going to look like. This is not final in any way, and they will look quite different once it is released. But The Sims 5 World says, New Project Renee, The Sims 5 leak. This person claims they have found these in the game files. So here we get to see this person. And as I said, this is very, very early on. It will not look like this at all in the final game. Alpha always looks pretty rough when you first see it, but this does give us an idea on what the Sims team is aiming for. It also gives us a brief look at some of the clothes as well. So this is the first Sim and I am actually quite happy with what we're seeing. It looks a little bit more realistic than the current Sims that we have, but not too much. It's almost like a healthy mix of Sims 4 and 3 to me. But I really do love how this looks. I love how the clothes look. You can kind of see wrinkles in their clothes, which I really like. So it's not too cartoony and clay looking. I actually like seeing the realistic little wrinkles in the clothes and the hair. I can see little strands coming out from the hair. It looks so good. This is the second image of The Sims and I love the fabric of her coat that we are seeing. It looks really well done. This looks fantastic. I'm really happy with how these Sims are shaping up to be. Here is the next one, also with the wrinkles on the clothes. I cannot wait to see what the final product of this is going to look like. And we do have this image here, which I'm not too sure what it is, but we do have it. And from there, we have video leaks. Sims 5 World says, exclusive leaked 
Project Renee, The Sims 5, videos showcasing the apartment, the world, and the music. So according to The Sims 5 world, somebody had anonymously sent all of these pictures and all of these videos to their DMs. And we do not know who this person is, just that this has happened. And these are the images and videos that this leaker has provided. So I was very surprised that these videos include music and the music sounds amazing. Now, unfortunately, I cannot play this music for you, but I can show you the video and I am going to be pausing it throughout the video so we can kind of stop and look at things. So here we get to see it. It's all in, it looks like tab mode. So the person entered tab mode and was able to go through the whole apartment and look through it all. And we can see a lot of familiar things. It looks very similar to what we've seen in the Behind the Sims Summit. So there's nothing too surprising here, but it looks just a gorgeous. I really adore the graphics here. And here is more video and you can see just how much you can truly clutter up the apartment. You can put bread over here on the little island. I love that. If you look over here in the microwave, there's a book on top of it. That level of detail is just amazing. I even see a toaster. We do not currently have toasters in our game, which I would love to have, but apparently they will be there in Sims 5. I even see a bar of soap over here by the sink. I love that detail. Now here on the fridge, we get to see pictures and magnets all over it. And I am wondering if those are things that we can actually put on the refrigerator ourselves or if this is a swatch. So they are already predetermined to be on there and you can't remove them. Here they are zoomed in on the microwave and you get to see all the little details of it. And here is the next video here. We get to see more of the bathroom, which we really haven't seen too much of until now. So here is the little bathtub and you can look down in there. And the next video shows a fireplace. We get to see another version of a refrigerator. And this is more of an empty apartment, which is like the basic furnishings in there. And this video, we get to see so much more of the clutter. There's just so much going on. It looks so good. We even get to see dirty dishes in the sink. What a nice detail. We get to see the toaster once more. Tons of clutter just everywhere. It looks so amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I hope so much that they open this playtesting so everybody can get their hands on this so we can all see what it really plays like. But these are the videos and we do get to see so many more items. This video in particular, quite long, but it looks so good. And this is the last leaked video. It looks to be an overview of all of the apartments here. So we get to see all of them together. We get to see a little bit more of the world itself, which looks just so pretty. Everything here looks so gorgeous, but that is everything. That is all of the pictures and all of the videos that, that were leaked over the weekend. And honestly, I am really liking what I'm seeing. It looks really well done for it being so early in development. And I'm thrilled that we already get to see what the actual Sims themselves look like. I cannot wait to see them move and see what kind of animations they will be using if they are going to be reusing the same ones from Sims 4 or a whole new batch of them. I'll be very interested to see all of that. But let me know what you think down below. What did you think of the Sims themselves? Did you like how they looked or were you disappointed and wanted something a little bit more realistic looking? Or maybe you wanted the opposite and wanted it to be even more cartoony. Let me know down below. As for myself, I am very happy with how everything looks, though I have a lot of questions. My first question being, is this open world? I am hoping it is open world or at least a 
semi-open world. I really don't want just a closed world with all the loading screens again. And my second big question is, there's a lot of cars decorating this world, and I'm very, very curious if cars will be in base game. They could be just decoration, or it could be that they actually are planning this game with cars in mind. The Sims team knows very well that the fans want cars, so I think it's very unlikely for them to launch a brand new game and once again not have cars. But I guess we will see. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything surrounding The Sims 4 and 5 news. I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!